The inmate death the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office first said was from natural causes now ruled a homicide. Two Works for You reporter Katie Wisely is live outside the jail tonight with a strange twist in the case. Katie? Karen, the sheriff's office says the inmate's death comes from previous injuries that occurred before he was booked into the jail. The sheriff's office says 58 year old Leo Horn had been in jail since 2015 on rape charges. Final Tulsa Joseph County Sheriff Vic Regalado says jailers found Horn unresponsive June, June 10th. June. Regalado says the medical examiner's report shows the blunt force trauma that caused his death in June matched the injuries he suffered in 2010 when Horn was assaulted by a relative and injured so severely he ended up on life support. The sheriff also says the jail knew Horn had a history of seizures when he was booked and when Horn died in June he was kept segregated to protect his health. We have video and to my knowledge there was nothing that indicated any foul play. Now as to whether or not we have video that shows them having an epileptic seizure, I haven't been informed of that. The sheriff held a news conference this afternoon and said that the medical examiner ruled Horn's death a homicide. The case has now been turned over to the Tulsa Police Department and the district attorney's office. Uh, I'm pretty confident that they're correct, that those are the injuries that occurred in 2010 that has caused the death in 2016. Tulsa Police Department homicide detective Sergeant Dave Walker said there wasn't anyone arrested when Horn was assaulted years ago. TBD says this is the 59th homicide this year. Reporting live downtown, Katie Wisely, two works for you.